viewers, welcome back to Gorilla. So today in this video, we'll be talking about the onboarding module of Gorilla. So as you all know, Gorilla is an HR software. So using Gorilla, you can actually manage all your HR activities. And HR activities means, you know, it starts from the recruitment, right? And the onboarding, that is, once the recruitment has come to an end, then the very next step is the onboarding. Okay, so it's very essential to manage it properly because it's handling all the hired candidates and all those stuffs, right? So for that, we have the very efficient Horilla's onboarding module. Using this, you can easily manage all the onboarding related activities. That is, you can easily manage the onboarding as well as the candidates. So here in the onboarding module, you can find the onboarding view as well as the candidate view where you can see all the details of the candidates you can edit the data delete the data and do so much more so i'm not wasting your time let's move on to the module and see what gorilla has hidden inside it so now let's go to the onboarding module of gorilla and see what it provides us so here we have the onboarding i'm opening it okay so inside this onboarding we have mainly two menus which is the onboarding view as well as the candidate view so first let's go to the onboarding view here we have the onboarding view. Let's click on that. And here you can see the, you know, onboarding ones. That is the candidates which are in the state and different recruitments, okay? So you have uh, different recruitments over here, which is the recruitment drive, the salesman hiring, the hiring employees and all such things, okay? So under each, you have the option to create stages. That is for each recruitment. And also you can find the candidates who are onboarding. Okay, so here it shows the different count of it and this is actually closed once false. That is the filter which is given here. So if you remove it, that is given. Now you can see the open recruitment as well as the closed recru recruitments. Okay, both can be found here. So this is the onboarding view. Okay, now here you have the option to view it as a list view as well as the card view and then you can filter it from here. Okay, so here it shows the different recruitment and for each recruitment it shows the candidate, the email, the job position, the mobile, the joining date, the portal status as well as the task status. Now if you want to create a new stage, you can just click on this and just give the name of the stage. So I'm giving the name of the stage as arrival and then you can set a manager for a particular stage. So once it's done, you can either decide it as a final stage or not. So if you are going to decide it or if you are going to set it as a final stage, means you have to check this. Once it's done, you can simply click on create. Okay. So that's how you basically create a new stage for a recruitment. Okay. So that's how you do it. And this is the uh, onboarding view. Okay. So for each recruitment, you can see the different onboarding ones. Okay. So that's how you do it. And then we have the candidate view. So click on the candidate view and here you can see all the candidates. Okay, so candidates are the ones which are participating or which are, I mean, who, are, who have applied for the recruitments, right? So all those candidates will be found here under the candidate view. Now this shows the hired candidates. Okay, so the candidates who are selected for each recruitment. Okay, so this shows the hired candidate now if you want to select all the candidates together you can simply click on select all candidates okay so here it shows unselect all candidates as well as export candidates and then you can see the count of the selected candidates so total i mean the in at present we have 17 total selected candidates okay now if you want to unselect it in one click that is also possible in horilla so click on this unselect okay now for each candidate you can see the details like the candidate's name and their profile picture will also be shown in the list view then you have the email of the person the date of joining the probation ending date job position then you have this recruitment then you have the offer letter and similarly you have the different actions where you have this editing to send mail and to add to rejected candidates and if you want to send portal or send onboarding that can also be done from here and even you can delete it okay so if you just take a candidate here here we have nancy i'm selecting it so that you will understand easily here you can see the name of that particular candidate that is the hired candidate you have the email of the person then you can see the date of joining as well as the probation ending date okay and then you have this job position of that person 
then you have the recruitment that is in which recruitment she came and in which recruitment she got hired so that is the recruitment and then you have the offer letter status now currently the status of the offer letter is not sent now you can even set it to sent accepted rejected and even joined so whatever the status of the offer letter is that can be chosen from the drop down which is given here in horilla and then if you go to these actions you have the option to edit the details of the candidate so if you simply click on edit here comes the candidate's profile and if you want to make any kind of changes or edits to it that can be done from here and once you're done you can simply save the changes okay now let's go back to the candidate view here okay so i'll just open this now and see itself now if you want to send mail to this person that is also possible by clicking on the send mail so just by a single click you can perform all these actions in horilla okay so click on send mail and here comes the mail sending body where you can choose the two address that is email address and then you have also sent to that is if you want to keep anyone as cc and all that can be done here you can choose the subject and the template that is if you have already set a template means that can be used here okay so i'm choosing it as offer letter so automatically the mail body will be filled because we have preset the template right we have already created the template and that is what we are using here to send mail to the person okay then you can give a subject for the person so i'm putting as offer letter and then you can choose if you want to send it to anybody else and further edits can also be done here and if you have any kind of attachments to add you can choose the template of the attachment or even you can add the file from your system so once everything is done you can simply click on send mail and the mail will be sent on the background it will show a message as processing okay so it's that simple to send a mail to the hired candidates so that's the other action next you have the option to add this person to rejected candidates okay so if you want to make this person uh i mean a part of the rejected candidate or simply you want to reject this person means you have this option where you can specify the reject reason and give a description so you have different reject reasons like distance or other reason if it's other reason means you can describe what the reason is okay so you can simply put as not capable or not excellent or something like that okay so i'm putting not capable or not apt for this work for the position so that's the description i'm giving once it's done you can simply save it and this person will be added to the rejected candidates okay so that's done and here you can see this button has uh, has become active because we've added this person to rejected candidates now if you click on this again you can add some other reason if you want to clear it means you can remove it and then save it what happens is that this person will be removed from the rejected candidates okay so that's the interest that's another interesting feature which you can find inside the candidate view and then you have the option which is to send portal or send onboarding so that is also very easy you can simply click on this button and here you can add a template as attachment okay so you can choose a template from here and then you can simply send the portal link that is we are giving the portal link of that particular candidate for use because they have been hired and they are future candidate i mean employees right so they'll be having a portal so we are sending a portal link for that person so you can even choose attachment as well as template okay then finally we have the option to delete the data if you want to delete or remove that person from the hired candidates list you can simply click on the delete icon over there okay so these are the basic things and then you have these different colors which shows different status of the uh, you know candidates you have this once for or to whom we've sent the portal portal not sent joining not set and joining set okay so it shows in different colors and that is the data and if you want to send portal from here you have this button over here simply click on send portal and then you can add the template as attachment or even you can add an attachment from your system then close it uh, after you have chosen one then you can simply click on send that portal okay and then you have the option to create a candidate so for that you can simply click on create and here comes the candidate creation okay so i'm going back to the candidate view so these are the basic things which comes under the onboarding the basic two things which comes is the onboarding view as well as the candidate view and there are so much actions which we can perform inside the can candidate view as you've seen before so that's how you can easily manage the onboarding using horilla i hope it's clear for you guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next video